नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर रूपम अरोरा सीनियर डायरेक्टर ऑक्टिटिशियन एंड गायनाकोलॉजिस्ट इन क्लाउड नाइन परपरगंज हॉस्पिटल हाइपर एमेसिस ग्रेविडोरम इज अ कंडीशन कैरेक्टराइज बाय सीवियर नोजिया वोमिटिंग वेट लॉस एंड इलेक्ट्रोलाइट डिस्टर्बेंस इन द फर्स्ट टाइम एस्टर ऑफ प्रेगनेंसी इट इज वेरी कॉमन अबाउट सेवेंटी टू एट्टी परसेंट पेशेंट दे सफर फ्रॉम नोजिया एंड वोमिटिंग सो नथिंग टू बी वरीड अबाउट एंड विथ अदर कॉजेज बींग रूल्ड आउट वी जस्ट ट्रीट इट लाइक ए प्रेगनेंसी स्पेसिफिक कंडीशन जनरली वी कॉल इट मॉर्निंग सिकनेस ऑल्सो माइल्ड केसेज आर ट्रीटेड विद डाइटरी चेंजेस रेस्ट एंटीमेटिक्स एंड एंटासिड More severe cases often require a stay in the hospital so that the mother can receive fluid and nutrition through an intravenous line. Do not take any medication to solve this problem without first consulting your healthcare provider. There are so many causes, but main cause is human chorionic gonadotropin. This hormone is secreted by the placenta which causes this vomiting nausea. So another hormone is there which is estrogen which is specific to pregnancy which also causes this nausea and vomiting of the pregnant this hormone peaks at 10 weeks and slowly slowly it reduces in its unit so patient gets nausea and vomiting generally it subsided by 13 weeks of pregnancy but sometimes it is continued till 22 weeks in few patients and sometimes patient may have continuously throughout 9 months this nausea vomiting but it is nothing to be worried about it is not affecting your baby the risk factor for hyperemesis gravidorum are having hyperemesis gravidorum in prior pregnancy having twins or triplets or more being pregnant for the first time then biological family history of severe morning sickness in the mother history of motion sickness or migraine headaches then gestational trophoblastic tumors which involve the abnormal cell in uterus